I'm leaving this morning from Atlanta, but yesterday I drove at the Atlanta Motorsports Park, the Elantra N, as well as Ionic 5, but the Elantra N absolutely blew my mind how good that car is. Definitely stay tuned for my coverage on it because I can't wait to share it. Anyways, switching gears to its rival, the Honda Civic and, and the HRV. We'll start with the HRV. We'll get to the Honda Civic next. The, we have a reveal date of the all new HRV for America. Remember, HRV slash Vezel has been redesigned for other parts of the world, but the American one is going to be unique to our market. It should be maybe bigger. It might have different powertrains. It's hard to say, but we'll know April 4th. So I don't know, we're about a little over a week away uh, from the official unveil. And all we have is a little teaser photo. So nothing crazy. Um, this is actually the first sheet metal picture we have. Previous pictures were uh, illustrations, drawings of what it will look like. Um, the the tail lights is really all we have here, and the HRV badge. <laughs> so the t the tail lights are a little bit out of Acura's playbook, I think. Uh, kind of remind me of the chicane style, not quite as a high quality, of course, because we're talking about an entry level SUV hatchback thing from Honda since they don't have the fit here stateside anymore. But let's switch gears over to the Honda newsroom in Europe. All new Honda Civic EHEV, -E, e -E so this is the same technology that is in the worldwide bezel essentially that we don't get uh, and it's going to deliver good power and torque. We have the Insight which is essentially the hybrid Civic and I was wondering are they going to redo the Insight or are they just going to make the Civic a hybrid? Well, we don't have the answer on that yet, other than we know a Civic Hybrid's coming, at least for Europe. And the big question here for me is, is this vehicle being produced in the United States? And if so, <laughs> why aren't we getting it and why is Europe getting it? I know it's all about emissions uh, and being up to code with the latest regulations in that specific European or United States area. I get it, but if it's being produced here stateside, which I don't have confirmation on, it doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, it's going to be uh, available autumn 2022. So we're gonna head to the spreadsheet, of course, and talk about uh, the new Civic Hybrid, 181 horsepower, 232 pound-feet of torque, uh, miles per gallon just an estimate. It's really just carried over from the, hot, the, the Insight. Um, and this is a lot more power and torque than what we see in the Insight. And it's a bigger naturally aspirated engine as well. Now, what we have on the CRV, uh, HRV, what we have on the HRV is an underpowered, outdated engine. Naturally aspirated four cylinder, 1.8 liter, just 141 horse, 127 pound feet of torque. Its CVT is pretty garbage. Now, if they put the new CVT, uh, the Civic in there, that's going to help it out a lot, as well as a new engine. Now, this is what I think the HRV is gonna do. I think it's just gonna use the Civic engines. And this is what it needs to do for it to be competitive in the segment, especially against the Koreans. So they have the two liter naturally aspirated 158 horse. Nice boost and power and torque. I don't think we'll see a manual on the HRV, so don't get your hopes up there. And then on the top grades, you have the optional 180 horsepower turbo one and a half liter with 100, uh, 177 pound feet of torque. That's got to be in this new HRV for it to be competitive. If you look at the Seltos, for example, that has the 1.6 liter turbo available in it, and this would go head to head against it. Um, and it would make the HRV a more tantalizing product right now. Yes, they're selling like hotcakes, but it's mainly because they can produce a ton of them. They're cheap to produce. They make a lot of money on them. And that segment is just on fire. So if they can have an even better product in that segment with better powertrains, it's going to help Honda out a lot with the HRV, the new generation. I just hope the Civic Hybrid <laughs> comes to the United States. I think it would be um, a huge boost as well to the Civic lineup. You don't need the Insight. The Insight to me is what you don't need it. It's already a Civic underneath. Um, use the Civic branding and just call it Civic. They used to do this. It used to have that Civic hybrid and it, does, it never made sense to me why they kept bringing the Insight back. The Insight has never sold well for them under the, under the Insight brand name. Um, meanwhile, the Civic, all you have to do is slap a hybrid logo on it and it's got people's attention. 
Um, anyways, guys, what do you think? Do you do you want this hybrid to come to America? Also, what do you want from the new HRV? I'll definitely cover it on April 4th. And can we just share you guys? You have no idea how good the Elantra N is. Maybe you do. Maybe you've watched other press coverages on it. That vehicle has blown my my mind in every single way possible, and I can't wait to share it essentially <laughs> but anyways i gotta cut myself off thank you guys so much so much for watching i'll see you in the comments as always if you enjoyed today's video smash the like button subscribe for more japanese and korean auto news and peace out